Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we are unboxing a Razer Blade Advanced 15 inch gaming slash content creator laptop. This one comes with the i9 11900H processor, RTX 3080 with 16 gigs of VRAM, boosts up to 105 watts. Also comes with 32 gigs of memory, that's 3200 megahertz dual channel, and the 15.6 OLED UHD glossy touch display with a one millisecond response time. We're really excited about getting into this laptop. We know we've reviewed a number of razor blades over the last few months, but we think this one's pretty special. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start unboxing here. Thirty watt power adapter. Now for the main event. Go green with Razor. through a little bit of a challenge on its way to get here. Oh boy, that's nice. Thank you for choosing Razor. Thank you, Razor. Congratulations. And Razor Blade 15 Advanced Model. Okay, got some stickers. And we got the microfiber cloth, which is always essential when you get a razor blade because it is a fingerprint magnet. Box. We'll tidy it up later. All right. Now to this guy.
15.6 Ultra HD 4K touch display. It has the GeForce RTX 3080, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, 11th gen Intel Core i9-11900H processor, 8 core, 16 threads, up to 4.9 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and one terabyte SSD. Boy, that screen looks gorgeous. You can't see it right now, but I will definitely um, make sure you do get to see it. Let's check out the chassis of the laptop. So you have the green serpent logo, uh, which is synonymous to razor blade. There's no flex around the edges of the top of the lid. A little bit of flex in the middle towards the serpent, but that's expected. You have this little indentation here for your finger to lift up the screen. And you can definitely see my reflection in that 4K glossy <laughs> screen there. Keyboard deck, palm rest, no flex whatsoever. The mouse, nice glide action. Good click return, like that. No flex around the edges or down below the screen. So that's good. You have the upward facing speakers, you have the power button here, and let's check out the keyboard. You know, for some odd reason, I don't know what it is with uh, razor blade keyboards, but lately I've found them to be a little bit mushy. I'm not a, I mean, it does the trick, but I, I'm not a fan. All right, let's turn this to the side. Check out the screen wobble if there is any. Really no screen wobble. The hinges are really, really stiff. So very durable in my opinion. Okay. Oh, and uh, before I forget, uh, there is a 1080p webcam, which we'll check out in the next video along with the mic and the speakers. Okay, let's check out the I.O. We'll start on the left-hand side here. We've got the power port, the two USB-A Gen 2 ports. You have a USB-C. I believe that is a Thunderbolt with power delivery up to 15 watts. And then we have the combo headphone mic jack on the right-hand side here. We have the full SD. We have another USB-C Gen 2, uh, also Thunderbolt. Um, and then you have a USB-A, and then you have your HDMI, and then you have your Kensington lock. Okay, not a bad collection of ports. We are missing an Ethernet port, so that is unfortunate. So the laptop alone weighs 4 pounds, 10.3 ounces, and with the power brick, it is 6 pounds. 5.0 ounces. Okay, we're going to take a look at the internals, but first let's talk about the bottom plate here. So you have um, your grills here for air intake. You have the two long rubber feet here that keeps the laptop off the desk and for better airflow. You have the 10 T5 torque screws, and these shorties are made out of a kind of softer metal. Uh, which makes them prone for stripping. So the only advice I can really give you is take it slow when, if you're going to get into the internals, uh, when unscrewing these screws, uh, because once you strip them, they're very difficult to get out or back in. Let's go ahead and take us off. So the chassis here is made of a CNC aluminum. I probably didn't have to tell you that since it's pretty common knowledge. Set that off to the side there where it doesn't fall off the desk. All right. Oh, okay. So you have the vapor chamber cooling here over the GPU and CPU with the two fans. You have the extra bay for more storage. I think this can go up to four terabytes. And then you have the 80 watt battery here and a swappable Wi Fi 6 card. And then the two swappable memory dims and I'm going to take one out here so we can get a better look at the specs on those. 
So this is 32 gigs altogether, 16 gigs per dim. And I'm just going to raise that up in front of the camera so you can see it because I know that is important to some people. And we'll probably swap these out. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and put that back in. Pretty sure this can get up to 64 gigs. All right, I think I covered everything. The Razor Blade 15 Advanced 4K laptop. We are really looking forward to turning that on and uh, throwing some games at it, some benchmarking, and we'll bring that video to you as soon as possible. Uh, a couple things that we're really looking forward to checking out is the new processor, how it stacks up with the RTX 3080, the 32 gigabytes of RAM, and then the 4K screen. We're also going to um, hook up a 240 hertz monitor to it and kind of do some comparisons. So we're really looking forward to that. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. It also helps us get better as we go along, and that's really the goal for us. We appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.